Did you expect this? Uh, no, not really. Uh, I mean, coming in, I know I had to, you know, play my role. So it was kind of, you know, it, it come with it when, when you kind of. Were there nerves, things. butterflies going in? Take us through that. Um, I mean, not not really because, like, I mean, I've been playing all season. So, I mean, like, being a starter, I mean, it's just going out there first. So. How, how You guys have rallied a few times in SEC games but not finished. Uh, how big was it to close one of those? It was big because that, that, that just shows how much we got. That just shows what we can do. And I know we'll be able to do that for four quarters. Get through the strip sack. What what you saw there, and, and how you uh, were able to... So, I mean, uh, it was it. Was, I felt like it was a mismatch on me and the guard, you know. So I slammed in, made a move on him, and getting a sack. You know. How did that How did that feel to make that kind of play in that kind of it moment? Felt, it felt real good, uh, very good. <laughs> what is it going to take? Do you think for you guys to play? a full game of defense the way you did the second half against the Aggies? Uh, I just feel like <clears throat> we just need to come in like from the jump, pumped up, riled up, because in the, at halftime, we had to get right with each other. Like We had to get each other. All the, we had to get together, talk to each other, make sure we was good, like telling each other, let's go. Because like, we knew that coming in, we could, we could win. Like, we could beat these guys. What's the senior class meant to the, you? Oh, the senior class mean a lot. Every every last one of them, they touched me every way. Like coming in, it was no problem. Like they all welcomed me in. No Ventra, Bernie, all those guys, and wonderful guys. Who's been maybe one or two? I mean, you mentioned those two, but are they been the main mentors? Who who have you looked up to among those guys? I mean, yeah, I mean Ventra Miller for sure, because I mean he he's he's the heart of the team for sure. So I try to you know pick up from whatever I can get from him to try to help help him out, make his job easier. What is what is stands out to you about him? I mean just watching a couple of those plays out in the flat the other day, just his relentlessness. But yeah. what, what stands out on him? Everything, everything that he does, he work he, he work hard at it. And he going he, he gonna tell you that he's working hard, he's gonna show it. You mentioned um, going in at halftime understanding what you guys needed to do and Billy said the same thing that you guys kinda of took that upon yourselves. Do you feel as though the defense maybe kind of turned a corner there in terms of communication with one another. Yes, I feel like uh, in the second half we we kind of came. We was more together, more. We started talking more. We was, you know, pumping each other up every play, like after every uh, series and all that. In the locker room at halftime, who's the one that just really kind of grabbed you by the lapels and said, "We got to change." All of us, like the whole defense, like uh, Ventura. Especially though, uh, he he sent a hard message telling us, "Let's go, like we we can deal with these guys, like we can really shut them out." He's kind of a quiet guy when he's in front of us. Is is he? Any, how is he in the locker room and at a uh, half? Does he get pretty kind of fired up and everything? Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, he's fired up, especially when it's not going the way it's supposed to go. After the game, have you noticed any other, maybe even young players, step up as an alpha in that sense? Uh, I want to say, I know like Shamar is a really good player. He uh, he he really got the potential to be very good. So I feel like if he just keep working, following Ventura footsteps, he's gonna be he can be crazy. How'd you find out about Britain last week? And and who was the first person who said, okay, this is your, this is basically your chance for more? Uh, Coach Peterson, uh, he was telling me that uh, basically he was just like, uh, get ready to play. Because, uh, I mean, he said he, he knew I was ready, but it was just a matter of time when I was going to go. Did you think you were ready? Yes, I knew I was ready. Uh, I mean, I don't never say I'm not ready. You know? <laughs> I'm always ready whenever. So, I mean. But once the game was over, did you feel, not that you doubted going in, but did you feel validated in a way and, and even more confident now? Uh, I mean, yeah, I, confident for sure. I'm, I'm even more confident for sure. It make, it's, it's, it's like when I got it, kind of gave me something that made me want to work harder. So I guess that's a good thing. Where would you like to see your game improve? Everything. I, I feel like <clears throat> I'm not where I'm supposed to be right now uh, as far as 
I mean, anything like setting the edge, pass rushing. I feel like I can get better at everything. Last game in the swamp for this season. What what do you expect? I mean, it seems, sounds like it's sold out. And just how important is it for you guys to send the seniors? Oh. <clears throat> It's very important to send the seniors out hard. It would a good one, a very good one, uh, just to show them how uh, how we appreciate them. And we we can we can definitely get this win. Have the issues on defense been more between the ears or physical? Do you think? Yeah, I feel like it's just the communication. I feel like we don't uh, lie at time at times we don't communicate enough. Yes. Uh, Dorian Finney Smith. Uh, he he plays for the Dallas Mavericks. He he actually went here and played basketball. Did you know him at all? Yeah, uh, I mean, we from like the exact same place. I watched him uh, play basketball growing up at, uh, at the high school we went to. Did that have any impact on you? Sorry. Did him come here have any impact? Or? Uh, I mean, seeing him come here, yeah. But like, of course, like he he of course he rooting for me. Like he 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 supported me as in like wherever I wanted to go, because it wasn't just about you know this. But he of course this is school, so he like, he really wanted me to come here. He's probably ten years older than you. Did you guys ever play pickup basketball together? Nah, <laughs> I don't think I would want that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Basketball with Boo's uh, AAU team there <clears throat> in uh, uh, No, I, I never play AAU uh, basketball. Okay. He's done? No, no, not at all. I mean, I feel like he he can do even more. He, he's just getting warmed up. You ever had any contact with him now? Uh, not, I mean, sometimes, you know, we, uh, we, we talk here and there, not really too much. You know, he got stuff going on. Of course, I do too. Oh, whole Tidewater area. I mean, you're only 20 miles from Virginia Beach. Yeah, it's Percy not that far. Harvin. Yeah, uh, Percy Harvin, he went. Uh, Among others. Yeah, he, it's a, yeah, Percy Harvin went here. Uh, I, re I remember <clears throat> growing up hearing about him a lot. Alan Iverson, you? Yeah, for sure. He, went, he was at Bethel. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I remember. Uh, I know Bruce Smith was, uh, he was in Norfolk. How do you guys, as a defense, kind of bottle what you did in the second half and carry it through for the rest of the season, you think? Uh, could you repeat that? How could you guys bottle or you know, <coughs> take what you guys did in the second half and carry that through the rest of the season? Uh, I feel like we can uh, We could definitely build off this. I feel like uh, that we this should be a turning point to what we can we showed that we can do it, so now it's just the fact of doing it every time. And I feel like now that we see it on film, we got no choice but to do it. You've had a chance to Ron McDonald House and the Bread of the Mighty. Um, just what have you gotten from those experiences, being able to give back? Oh, uh, yeah, being, being able to, uh, you know, be with kids that, uh, you know, they like and families that, that's going through things and try to make their life better just by me coming in. I do that any day, so that's 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 easy. Like, it's not really a challenge for me. Some like self gratification out of it, just seeing their faces light up because Florida Gator players. Yeah, come in. so it it, it comes like you you play for the Gators, so it's a big deal. So I, I you know that's that's not really. I go in there any day, chill with the family. And all that. What you've been able to watch on tape yet? But what do you see when you when you see Spencer Rattler? South Carolina quarterback. Uh, I, I feel like he he's a mobile quarterback. Uh, he likes he likes to run. I seen him. I, I remember playing against him in the bowl game against Oklahoma. Uh, he uh, he's a pretty good quarterback. I mean, I feel like we can get him though. How strange is that? That you played a guy in a bowl game at another school, and now you'll play him again yeah. in conference play. Yeah, that's why it is crazy how how, how that worked, but. So, in your mouth from the game last year. Yeah, uh, you said from last year? Yeah, the South Carolina game last year. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I feel like we got to come, like they come to us, so we got to deal with, they got to deal with us, you know, as well as we got to deal with them. Can I try for one more guy? Do you feel like you owe Spencer Rattler? One, though, too, from that bowl game? Uh, I, I mean, we, 
think I'm thankful that we get to see him again. You know, I probably he's a good player, so I would I would want to play against a quarterback like that. So.